The value of the Canadian dollar, often called the loonie, is closely tied to the U.S. economy. This is because the United States is Canada's largest trading partner. When Trump became president, many experts wondered how his policies would affect the loonie. Some of these policies, like tax cuts and deregulation, could make the U.S. economy more competitive. This could be bad news for the Canadian dollar. Let's take a closer look at why. This matters because a weaker loonie means Canadians pay more for imported goods. Everything from groceries to gasoline could become more expensive. It also impacts Canadian businesses that rely on U.S. suppliers. Understanding these potential impacts can help Canadians prepare for economic changes. Canada and the U.S. share the world's longest undefended border. They are also each other's biggest trading partners. This close relationship means that what happens in the U.S. economy directly affects Canada. When the U.S. economy is strong, Canada benefits. However, when the U.S. struggles, Canada often feels the pain too. Over 75% of Canada's exports go to the United States. This heavy reliance makes Canada vulnerable to changes in U.S. economic policy. If Trump's policies make the U.S. more appealing to businesses, it could draw investment away from Canada. This dependence is a double-edged sword. While it offers stability and growth opportunities, it also exposes Canada to risks associated with U.S. policy changes. Understanding this dynamic is crucial for Canadians to grasp the potential impact of a Trump presidency on their economy. Interest rates play a big role in determining the value of a currency. When a country's central bank raises interest rates, it can attract foreign investment. This is because investors can earn a higher return on their money. If the U.S. Federal Reserve continues to raise interest rates under a Trump presidency, it could make the U.S. dollar stronger. A stronger U.S. dollar often leads to a weaker Canadian dollar. This is because investors will be selling their Canadian dollars to buy U.S. dollars. This can create a downward pressure on the loonie. This potential for a widening interest rate differential between the two countries could put significant downward pressure on the Canadian dollar, making imports more expensive for Canadians. This is a key economic factor to watch as it directly impacts the purchasing power of Canadians and the competitiveness of Canadian businesses. Trump has already signed a large corporate tax cut into law in the United States. This significantly lowers the amount of taxes that businesses have to pay. Lower taxes can make a country more attractive to businesses. They can then use the extra money to invest and hire more workers. If Canada doesn't follow suit with similar tax cuts, it could become less competitive. Businesses might choose to locate in the U.S. instead of Canada to take advantage of the lower tax rates. This could hurt the Canadian economy and put downward pressure on the loony. This difference in corporate tax rates could make it more expensive for Canadian businesses to compete potentially, leading to job losses and a decrease in economic activity. This is a critical aspect of the economic debate surrounding Trump's policies and their potential spillover effects on the Canadian economy. Trump has made deregulation a key part of his economic agenda. This means reducing the number of rules and regulations that businesses have to follow. While some argue that this can boost economic growth, others worry about potential negative consequences. These include weaker environmental protections and consumer safety standards. Canada has traditionally had a more regulated business environment than the United States. If Trump continues to cut regulations, it could create an uneven playing field. Canadian businesses might struggle to compete with their less regulated U.S. counterparts. This potential divergence in regulatory environments could further disadvantage Canadian businesses, making the U.S. a more attractive destination for investment and potentially hindering Canadian economic growth. This is a crucial consideration when assessing the long-term impacts of Trump's policies on the Canadian economy. The United States, Mexico, and Canada have a free trade agreement called the USMCA, United States-Mexico-Canada Agreement. This agreement replaced NAFTA, North American Free Trade Agreement. Trump has been critical of NAFTA and has threatened to withdraw from it in the past. If Trump were to withdraw from the USMCA or renegotiate it in a way that is unfavorable to Canada, it could hurt the Canadian economy. Uncertainty surrounding trade with the US could make investors nervous and lead them to sell their Canadian dollars. The uncertainty surrounding the future of USMCA creates a climate of instability for Canadian businesses that rely on trade with the United States. 
This uncertainty can negatively impact investment and economic growth, potentially leading to a weaker Canadian dollar. Canada is a major oil producer. The price of oil is therefore an important factor in the Canadian economy. Trump has pledged to make the U.S. energy independent. He has also rolled back environmental regulations that could boost U.S. oil production. Increased U.S. oil production could lead to lower oil prices globally. This would be bad news for Canada, as it would reduce the value of its oil exports. A decline in oil revenue could negatively impact the Canadian dollar. This potential shift in the global energy landscape could weaken the Canadian dollar and impact the profitability of Canada's energy sector, which is a significant contributor to the Canadian economy. This highlights the vulnerability of Canada's economy to external factors, particularly those influenced by U.S. policy decisions. Section 8. A perfect storm. How these factors could spell trouble for the loony. As we've seen, several factors related to Trump's policies could potentially weaken the Canadian dollar. These include higher interest rates in the United States, corporate tax cuts, deregulation, trade uncertainty, and lower oil prices. While any one of these factors on its own might not have a dramatic impact, together, they could create a perfect storm that puts significant downward pressure on the loony. This could lead to higher prices for Canadian consumers and businesses and slow economic growth. This potential convergence of negative economic forces underscores the importance of closely monitoring U.S. policies and their potential spillover effects on the Canadian economy. Understanding these risks can help policymakers and businesses mitigate potential damage and adapt to changing economic conditions. Section 9. Hedging Your Bets what Canadians can do to protect themselves. So, what can Canadians do to protect themselves from the potential negative impacts of a weaker loony? First, it's important to stay informed about economic developments and how they might affect the Canadian dollar. Second, Canadians can consider diversifying their investments. This means investing in assets that are denominated in different currencies. This can help to offset some of the losses that might be incurred if the Canadian dollar weakens. By taking proactive steps to diversify their investments and manage their finances, Canadians can mitigate the risks associated with a potentially weaker Canadian dollar and navigate the uncertainties of the global economic landscape. Section 10. The Bigger Picture. A Global Perspective on Currency Fluctuations. It's important to remember that currency fluctuations are a normal part of the global economy. Many factors can influence the value of a currency, and political events are just one piece of the puzzle. Global economic growth, commodity prices, and central bank policies in other countries can all play a role in determining the value of the Canadian dollar. It's also worth noting that a weaker loonie can have some positive effects, such as making Canadian exports more competitive. Understanding the complex interplay of these global forces can provide a more nuanced perspective on currency fluctuations and help individuals make informed financial decisions. Section 11. Conclusion. Navigating the choppy waters of economic uncertainty. The potential impact of a Trump presidency on the Canadian dollar is a complex issue with no easy answers. While there are certainly risks that could lead to a weaker loony, there are also factors that could mitigate those risks or even lead to a stronger Canadian dollar. The key for Canadians is to stay informed, be prepared, and remember that economic uncertainty is a fact of life. By understanding the potential risks and opportunities, Canadians can make smart financial decisions and weather whatever economic storms may come their way. Ultimately, navigating the uncertainties of the global economy requires adaptability, resilience, and a willingness to adjust course as needed. By staying informed and making sound financial decisions, Canadians can weather economic storms and emerge stronger on the other side.